Hey everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today I'll be going over the flexor digitorium superficialis muscle. I will go over its location which includes the origin and insertion, followed by its functions, and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So let's get started with the location so we know exactly what we're talking about and then we'll build on from there. So the origin of the superficialis, actually uh, the flexor digitorium superficialis, actually lies on three different locations. The first location being on the medial epicondyle of the humerus. The second location being on the medial coronoid process of the ulna. And the third location being on the upper two thirds of the radius. And that is all on the anterior aspect of your forearm. So we're looking at basically the palm side of your forearm. So again, I'm going to go ahead and go over the location so you know where it is on my body and then I'll provide you an illustration so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the flexor digitorium superficialis, like I said, is originated from three different points. The first point being on the medial epicondyle of the humerus, the medial coronoid process of the ulna, which is this bone on the pinky side of the arm, and then also the upper two thirds of the radius, kind of between the ulna and the radius. Okay, so again, they originate here, it originates here and then in here. And then this muscle kind of bellies out a little bit and then runs down and inserts onto the middle joint of each finger on the second through the fifth finger. So your pointer over to your pinky. So that middle joint there, that is where this particular um, muscle inserts onto. So again, it originates from here and here, bellies out and comes in and then inserts onto the middle joints of the second through the fifth finger. Uh, this muscle is similar to the profundus muscle that I've went over. However, the only difference is, well, there's a couple difference, obviously, or else it would be the same exact muscle. Now, the profundus um, inserts onto the next um, knuckle joint and also only originates from the ulna. Okay, so again, the superficialis originates from these two points and right here and runs down to these middle joints. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and insert an illustration for you right here. Hey everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today I'll be going over the flexor digitorium superficialis muscle. I will go over its location, which includes the origin and insertion, followed by its functions, and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So let's get started with the location so we know exactly what we're talking about and then we'll build on from there. So the origin of the superficialis, actually uh, the flexor digitorum superficialis, actually lies on three different locations. The first location being on the medial epicondyle of the humerus, the second location being on the medial coronoid process of the ulna, and the third location being on the upper two thirds of the radius. And that is all on the anterior aspect of your forearm. So we're looking at basically the palm side of your forearm. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the location so you know where it is on my body and then I'll provide you an illustration so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the flexor digitorium superficialis, like I said, is originated from three different points. The first point being on the medial epicondyle of the humerus, the medial coronoid process of the ulna, which is this bone on the pinky side of the arm, and then also the upper two thirds of the radius, kind of between the ulna and the radius. Okay, so again, they originate here, it originates here and then in here. 
And then this muscle kind of bellies out a little bit and then runs down and inserts onto the middle joint of each finger on the second through the fifth finger. So your pointer over to your pinky. So that middle joint there, that is where this particular um, muscle inserts onto. So again, it originates from here and here, bellies out and comes in and then inserts onto the middle joints of the second through the fifth finger. Uh, this muscle is similar to the profundus muscle that I've went over. However, the only difference is, well, there's a couple differences, obviously, or else it would be the same exact muscle. Now, the profundus um, inserts onto the next um, knuckle joint and also only originates from the ulna. Okay, so again, the superficialis originates from these two points and right here and runs down to these middle joints. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and insert an illustration for you right here. Okay, so now that you know exactly what I'm talking about for the location and what the difference is between the superficialis and the profundus muscle is, now we can apply its functions to this muscle. So the, the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle has a few different functions. Uh, the first function being that it flexes the fingers from the middle joint where it inserts onto. So basically if you would block off that first knuckle, and just curl up that middle knuckle of again from your index finger over to your pinky okay it also curls the fingers from the knuckle joint pretty much right at your palm so if you place your hand on your palm and curl those fingers up this muscle does this motion as well. Also, this muscle flexes the wrist. And last but not least, well, this is a weak movement of the flexor digitorum superficialis and actually does a weak elbow flexion only because it crosses that elbow joint to that epicondyle. So it assists in that movement, but it is not extremely strong in this movement only because of where it originates from. So now that you know where it is and what this muscle does, now I can move on and apply an exercise for you. So the best way to exercise this particular muscle, since uh, there is a lot of movement at the hand, is actually gripping movements. This muscle, along with the profundus, is a very uh, strong grip type muscle. So whenever you are working on your grip with these four fingers, that is, this muscle is this muscle, along with the profundus muscle, will help your grip. So whenever you want to increase your grip strength, this is the type of muscle, along with the profundus, you want to work out. So the best way to exercise that is obviously training your grip. So I'm going to go ahead and provide a couple examples for you or a couple different ways that you can do that right here. Okay, so as far as the gripping exercises go, um, if you have possibly a weaker type grip or that's something that you're rehabbing from uh, you can just use a stress ball uh, for instance or just kind of some uh, type of gel ball and you can squeeze that repeatedly okay or if you have a more a little bit more advanced grip um, or a moderate grip you can use your clips or the gym's clips that have that are on the barbells 
or if you have interchangeable dumbbells, they also have little tinier clips, uh, but you can use these and just work on your grip like so. They also have uh, different pieces of equipment. Um, for instance, at Dick's, they have an actual grip uh, type contraption that pretty much looks like a clip for a barbell index that's sold I think it's between $10 and $20 and you pretty much are just working the same exact thing that a clip does uh, you may be able to buy a stronger or uh, a more resistant type of gripper or you may be able to change the resistance on it I'm not quite sure I didn't quite uh, look too far into that. I just kind of seen it was like, oh, okay. So they have one there. Um, but other than that, um, that is it for this video. I thank you for watching this video. I do apologize that it's kind of a repetitive video. I did think that I had an error in the previous one, so I remade this one. I promise next week that I will have a new video up for you. So if there is any confusions, please feel free to comment below. If you like the video, hit the like button. You may pass it on with a share. Um, but if you did find value in it, please hit the like button. It helps to pass the video along to others that may have same questions as you or may be interested in this particular muscle looking to um, make greater gains in their grip strength. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week.